Oh. I don't think I even need to explain who Super Mario Logan is. As everyone, including their parents, should already know about him and his antics. Mm -hmm. Of course, with that being said, there might be a good amount of people on the site that might not really have much of a clue on who this YouTuber is. So we'll He's an awesome summary. YouTuber. Super Mario Logan is a popular plus channel on YouTube that yep. has managed to garnish over 6 million subscribers uh -huh. in a relatively I'm one short of them. period of time. His channel mainly focuses on using plush toys of various Mario characters, hence the name Super Mario Logan. Oftentimes, these characters would go on wacky or just plain out random adventures and do some pretty crazy stuff that honestly is rather funny. Mm -hmm. At least, in the old kind of way. Now the main reason why SML is so popular as he is is because of one character that almost everybody in the SML community knows about. And that character that I have to say is Jeffy. But he's a funny Jeffy. dude. Oh my gosh, Jeffy. He's probably one of the more controversial characters out of the bunch. But Lance plays this is Jeffy. He's funny. Of the fact that he's a 13-year-old kid who has various He's turning 18 tomorrow. One of them. Of course, in recent times, Logan has had a fair share of issues regarding his YouTube channel because of Jeffy. The monetization of all of his videos, age restriction, and genuinely a lot of hate as well. This honestly isn't really that surprising. Super Mario Logan shouldn't be age restricted. It's really funny. Not too long back, once Jeffy was introduced into the cast of, as a main character. Nowadays, most of Logan's videos revolve around Jeffy, with many other episodes of SML that revolve around Bowser Jr. being mm -hmm. recycled and minimally changed to having Jeffy slapped on the video. To put it bluntly, most videos about Jeffy are pretty much rip-offs or copies of older it's not videos a rip -off that or a copy. had original content that, uh, that Bowser Jr. was in. This, however, is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Jeffy himself. Jeffy's constant swearing in most videos, his rude attitude, the glorification of mental disorders, etc., etc. He's There's neither of those. He's funny, silly, However, if I keep on talking about hilarious, this, this entire story and his attitude is funny long. too. That's not what I want. Now, of course, Logan has attempted to try and keep his videos from losing money numerous times, setting up multiple channels, censoring everything that particularly was bad. Even making the content it's more, not bad. quote, family friendly as well. It is but family nothing, friendly. As of right now, was seeming to work for him. So on June 26, 2018, Logan himself uploaded a Patreon only video that was only accessible if you had a Patreon payout of $25 or more. This video, as of right now, has since been deleted by Logan after he had gained a heavy amount of backlash. From his fans, what? which caused the patrons who supported SML to quickly quit being patrons, thus losing a lot of money for SML. I actually happened to be one of the patrons that saw the video for myself, and honestly, I wish I was able to download the video for you all to see. Huh? However, the website that I go to to download all my videos would always come up with an error message every time I tried and put in the link. Mm -hmm. and even if I honestly could get the video, I know for a fact that Logan would have probably wound up finding out in some time and flagged the video. So either way, my hands were tied. I didn't want to have to face any kind of legal issues, and I certainly didn't want to have my channel taken down because of one video. So the only thing that I can really do at this moment is just write about my experience. The video itself was named SML Movie Jeffy Goes to Far. What? The thumbnail of the video was the background of Logan's house, with Mario standing at the door and Jeffy walking away from the door with a Photoshop suitcase in his hand Aww. and some small cartoony tears going down his face. Before I clicked on the video itself, I read the description of the video which was provided underneath it. It read this, To all the fans of SML who honestly can't stand Jeffy, I get it. But I am an I SML am. fan and I do I understand Jeffy. I admit that I don't like him either nothing more but a nuisance to my videos and my channel ever since I had added him into the series of Super Mario Logan. Yes, I know I promised numerous times that I would get rid of Jeffy or stop using him in my videos, but because of the constant backlash I get every time I even mention getting rid of him. Don't get rid of him. Give in to the fans. Well, what I would call fans, it is. 
I know that I'm an idiot for not taking a stand against the insane fanboys on my channel, but hopefully this video that I create will one day be up on YouTube soon. Maybe this might help my channel out, and I can go back to doing what I honestly loved again, without having to worry about YouTube pretty much going after me. Now, with that being said, no, I am not going to kill Jeffy off. Don't, I please. Don't remember the last Don't kill him. A character, Mama Luigi, that is. And it hurt my channel like crazy. So, Jeffy isn't going to die, but I can certainly say that he'll be gone from the series entirely. No! And maybe this way I can make the video... And maybe this way I can make the video won't particularly piss off too many Jeffy fans. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I personally enjoyed making this. Peace out. Logan 30 Acre. I honestly agreed with Logan on what he said in the description, and seeing as how he wasn't going to kill off Jeffy, but use an original way to get rid of him, honestly got me pretty excited to watch this video. So without further ado, I clicked to play on the video. The episode started out in the usual SNL style. Mario was sitting on a couch with Rosalina, watching Family Guy, and eating a bowl of trail mix that was in the middle of the pair. Oh Mario, this is such a great show! Yeah. Mar Rosalina said. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I mean, older seasons were better, but yeah, I guess it's alright. Mario said, with a very, uh, how do I put this, bored expression. Well, it's quite nice that Jeffy's been playing around in his room quietly for the past couple of hours, mm -hmm. Rosalina said cheerfully. Ugh, watch it. Now that you said that, he's probably going to come and pop out from behind the couch, screaming and complaining about something. Again, Mario grunted. Oh, come now, Mario. I doubt that'll happen, Rosalina said. Three, two, one, Mario said. For a while, nothing happened. Nope. Wow. Not yet. I guess you were right, Mario began. I guess he isn't going to... Right before Mario could finish his sentence, Jeffy had popped out of the trail mix that was in the bowl, a loud, ooh, 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 emanating from his mouth. This was followed by both Mario and Rosalina <laughs> jumping back in horror. Holy crap, Jeffy! What the heck? Wait, how did you even get in there? Mario questioned. I crawled in when you weren't looking, Jeffy said in his angry <laughs> voice. By the way, M&Ms were yummy. Yeah. You ate all the M&Ms? Mario yelled. That's the best part of the trail mix. Dang it, Jeffy! Mario said, slumping down on the sofa. Well, they were yummy. Jeffy said. Mario at this <laughs> point walked off screen and then came back with a small handheld vacuum cleaner and placed it in the middle of the couch where the spilled trail mix was at. What that, Daddy? Jeffy asked. This is a vacuum, Jeffy. You're gonna clean up this mess now, Mario said firmly. Why would I do that? Mario, Jeffy don't be so then. desperate. Because you, you need popped to... out the freaking trail mix and got the couch dirty. Now clean it up. You need to be nice to Jeffy, Mario. Jeffy just let out a large Ooh! in Mario's face, patted his diaper, and then ran off. Mario, in a fit of anger, threw the small vacuum cleaner to the floor and sat down on the couch, moping. I swear that kid is going to push me too far one day, Mario complained. Mario, sweetie, you shouldn't be angry at him. It was just a harmless prank, Rosalina said. Rosalina, Jeffy popped out of our trail mixing on the couch dirty. Prank or not, he still needs to learn to clean up after himself, even if it is a prank, Mario said with an irritated tone. Well, Mario, I'm sure Jeffy will learn sooner or later, Yeah. Rose Rosalina said. I hope it's sooner, much less than later, Mario grunted under his breath. The scene then cut to Jeffy sitting down at his high chair, child plate and fork sitting on the top of the surface area. All right, Jeffy, ready for lunch? Mario asked. Jeffy only grunted a few times before letting out a long, another long <gasps> sound. <laughs> Mario groaned and then pulled out a can of His green beans from the pantry. Hey, that's funny. I he like that. Over to Jeffy, opens up the can, and then dumps the contents of the can onto Jeffy's plate. The music that was playing in the background suddenly stops as Jeffy looks down at his plate to see a dozens of green beans lying on top of his plate. He then looks up at Mario and says in a monotone voice, Daddy, what is this? Oh, it's green beans, Jeffy, Mario answered. Why did you give me green beans, Daddy? Jeffy said, this time his voice growing a bit more agitated. Because the green beans are good for you, Jeffy. Besides, you need the vitamins and all that other stuff. 
Mario replied. Jeppy just looked down at the plate of green meats in front of them and begins to shake. I kind of knew where this was going. Honestly, it seemed kind of typical for me at this point. I knew that Jeffy was probably going to start yelling that he hates green beans and I'm a tantrum. Yeah, like this. I hate green beans, Johnny! That's funny. Although, it did kind of meet my expectations. really blew me away, honestly. Jeffy continued to shake, and then he started to growl. This was certainly new for Jeffy, as I'd never really heard him make that kind of sound. Mari then walked over to Jeffy and asked him, Jeffy, what's wrong? I hate green beans. Jeffy growled. I'm sorry, what was that? Mario asked. I hate green beans. Holy cow! <laughs> Jeffy grabbed the plate of green beans and threw them across the kitchen and onto the wall, splattering countless amounts of green beans all over the place. Mario was about to scold him for his actions when Jeffy ripped, yes, ripped, the tabletop off the high chair of its hinges and threw it across the room with a violent throw. Mario was now trying to calm Jeffy down at this point by offering him something else other than green beans to eat, but it was apparent that Jeffy was having none of that. Jeffy then picked up his high chair and began swinging it around like a madman, smashing various plates, mugs, glasses. Hell, he even managed to smash a few kitchen appliances like the coffee machine, toaster, and even the blender. Jeffy, you put that high chair down right now! Mario screamed. Oh, Fuck God. you, daddy! Jeffy swore. Suddenly, Chef Pee made his way into the kitchen. Well, more like running into the kitchen, that is. He was looking around frantically, wondering what the hell was going on. What the hell is going on here? Why is my kitchen a mess? Chef Pee questioned, with a heavy amount of concern in his voice. As a response, Chef Pee threw the high chair right smack dab at Chef Pee causing him to top Chef Pee Pee an open flame that was coming from the stove. Mm. Chef Pee soon erupted into flames. Screaming in agony as he ran around trying to find relief. It wasn't until Jeffy threw a glass of water at Chef Pee Pee that the glass shattered and the water doused out the flames. Chef Pee Pee then groaned and fell to the floor. Mario was now panicking at this point and he began making threats at Jeffy. This obviously didn't stop Jeffy's rampage as he continued to go berserk and start throwing various pots and pans all around the kitchen area. Then, Rosalina ran into the kitchen, concerned as to what the heck was going on. When Jeffy then took a cast iron skillet, a large one I, I might add, and threw it, which hit Rosalina hard on the head. What? The music then stopped once more, as both Jeffy and Mario looked at the now stunned Rosalina. She just stood there for a few seconds before falling to the floor with a small thud. Uh, ouch! Mommy? Jeffy said, scared out of his mind. Rosalina! Mario screamed as he rushed towards her. Upon getting to Rosalina, there was a small puddle of fake blood surrounded by her head, Ew. with a large gash with stuffing popping out of it. Mario just held onto Rosalina and started crying. The scene then faded to black before returning to Mario, now in a hospital area of some sort, more like most likely a room. He was staring down at Rosalina, a heartbeat monitor going off on an iPad plastered to the wall. Her head had multiple stitches on it. Cartoony ones, but still stitches, with a little bit of fake dried blood still present on the top of her head. Then, after a few moments, the doctor character opened the door. How is she, Doc? Mario said, almost on the brink of a breakdown. Aww. Well, she'll live, the doctor said. Oh, thank God, I... Mario began, but it was soon interrupted by the doctor. He didn't let me finish. She'll live force of that skillet cracked her skull badly. Ouch! Because of this, she suffered some rather severe brain damage, the doctor said. No! Oh. Mario began. How... How bad is it? Mario asked. Like I said, it's bad. At the very best of the situation, she'll be lucky enough to be able to count to a hundred. The very worst, she'll need to be taken care of the rest of her life. She won't be able to form coherent sentences eat properly. What? In a nutshell, she'll be reduced to the mindset of a toddler. Oh no. He said with a bit of hesitation in his voice. Oh my god, Mario said. What about Chef Pee Pee? 
Mario asked. Well, he's alive as well, but he suffered third and fourth degree burns all over his body. It's going to be quite some time before he can even so much as lift his hand up without pain. You're going to have to find a replacement chef for the time being, the doctor said. The camera then zoomed into Mario's face for a bit and then returned to normal. Mario then took a deep sigh and said in a surprisingly calm tone, Okay, doctor. I'll make sure to keep them safe and out of harm's way from now on. Aww. Good. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go and give Chef Panini, Peepy, I don't even know, uh, his medicine. Sh Chef Peepy? The doctor then walked out of the door. Mario then looked over at Rosalina for a little bit and then walked out of the door and into the lobby area. Sitting down on one of the chairs was none other than Jeffy. He had a rather gloomy expression on his face, and he didn't even so much as look at Mario when he came into view. Jeffy, Mario said calmly. I'm sorry, Daddy, Jeffy muttered under his breath. Come with me to the living room, Mario said in the same calm voice. Oh, okay, Daddy, Jeffy said, cowering as he followed Mario out of the lobby area and into the living room. The screen then cut to Mario and Jeffy sitting down on the couch. Jeffy's still not daring looking up at Mario. Jeffy, do you know what you've done? Mario asked. I... I... No. Jeffy stuttered. No. You don't? Mario asked. Jeffy just shook his head no. You hurt two people today. You damaged almost a thousand dollars worth of things in my kitchen. And to make matters worse, Rosalina... Rosalina is a vegetable because of you, Mario said. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, Daddy. I won't do it. I, I won't do it again. Jeffy said... Poor Jeffy. You know how many times I hear that from you? How you'll change and be a good boy. Well, I hate to break it to you, Jeffy, but I'm not buying it anymore. Mario said firmly, but still in a soft tone. I guess I'm grounded forever and have to eat green beans, don't I? Jeffy sulked. No, Jeffy. You're not grounded, Mario said. I'm... I'm not? Jeffy said, surprised. No, Jeffy. In fact, I have something for you. Let me go get it, Mario said, and then he walked off screen for a bit. Oh boy, I hope it's gummy worms. Jeffy said joyfully. <laughs> Mario then returned and placed a large suitcase down at Jeffy's feet. Aw, uh, Daddy, why'd you give me this suitcase? It's not edible, Jeffy questioned, obviously confused. That suitcase, Jeffy, is for you. I want you to go upstairs to your room, pack your things, and never come back, Mario said. But, but, but why? I don't want to go, Daddy. I want to stay here with you. Jeffy yelled. I'm sorry, Jeffy. But I can't let you live here anymore. You've caused countless amounts of damage. You're rude, ungrateful, and if you live, a spoiled brat. And worst of all, you're nothing but a mistake. Mario, Ma Mario Jeffy is none of those things. You're those things. I'm not your daddy anymore, Jeffy. As far as you're concerned, I'm only Mario. And you're trespassing on my property. No, you're oh, trespassing on your property. Oh, Jeffy is not trespassing on your property. Mario Do you understand? Home. You are an insulter to mom, Jeffy. Jeffy no, Jeffy. You may be a brat, but even you... No, you're, you're a brat, Mario. No! Hopefully you can find a family that's willing to take your crap, Mario said. You are going to take his crap. You are his dad. You will be taught a lesson, Mario. Mario? Jeffy said sadly. Jeffy, no, don't leave. Crying softly. Then a knock is heard from the door. And Mario opens it up. There is the same doctor character from before. But this time he was in a suit and tie and a little name tag that read, Social Worker. Ah, hello, sir. 
I'm from the foster care office down the street. Is this the young boy, Jeffrey, that you were talking about? Yes, sir. That's Jeffrey, Mario responded. Well, okay then. Just sign here and he'll be gone for good. No! The man said, pulling out a clipboard with a piece of paper that read contract on it. He should not be going for good. I want him to stay. All right, let's go, Jeffy. The man said. Mario, you're an idiot for trespassing for that to Jeffy. The man going into the front passenger seat. Before the car drove off, Jeffy said, I, I love you, Daddy. And the window shield went off. Car drove away. Mario groaned and then closed the door. He then plopped himself down on the couch and turned on the television, eating the last of the trail mix that hadn't been spilled all over the floor. The episode ends. Oh, yeah, well, the, the news should have said this. Breaking news, okay? Some idiot sent this little boy away from this. Video was rather this sad. Home. Whoever this idiot is, he needs to go to jail and prove him wrong. It was just, wow. That's really all I can say. It was just, wow. <laughs> I sound like Mr. Goodman. It was hilarious. It was very intriguing, original, and had a great way of getting rid of Jeffy without particularly killing him off, like Logan said. No. Jeffy shouldn't have been gotten rid of. He he's a cute little fella. He's a funny little fella too. Unfortunately, SML still even still uses Jeffy to this day. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I wish he would just man up and upload the video and finally get rid of him. No. Logan, if you're watching this, it's time. Just like how Mario couldn't stand Jeffy's crap anymore. Mario needs to stand Jeffy's crap. It annoys him, and for good, it will stay. It will make him be stayed annoyed. Ew, blood! <laughs> blood everywhere.